My name is Wago Sio, and uh, that means peacock in Oneida language. And my English name is Jennifer Marie Stevens. I consider myself multiracial because I'm more than three nationalities. <laughs> but um, I'm primarily Native American and Caucasian American. I can't imagine my life without music and art. I've discovered through experimenting and stuff that I, that I am a composer in, in, in my own way. Sometimes I just sit on a piano and I play. I play with chords, I play with melodies. I feel very passionate about, about singing. When I sing opera, I feel like I, I always feel like my 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 voice is singing into the rafters, and it's unusual in a sense because there's very few Native American opera singers um, today, and even in history, it's it's different, but it, it's kind of cool because I think I think you know what there there's more singers out there, and I hope that they get the courage to 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 follow their dream. If a person's following a dream such as opera, I believe that um, it must be a strong calling, and so I I'm trying. <laughs> this is an example of um, one of my Oneida pots. I'm a traditional Oneida potter, and uh, I uh, learned the technique of hand building, and it's when you roll out coils and you stack them and you smooth them so good that you can't see the, the, the ridges or anything in it. And so I have to say, this is my, one of my earliest pots. I have to say, um, I didn't know that I was going to end up singing in Oneida. It's a beautiful language to sing it. You have the, these um, beautiful open vowels and, and soft consonants, and those are singer's dreams. The Common Ground concert took place at the Meyer Theater in Green Bay, Wisconsin. My song that's and we received $5,000 from the United Nations Arts Program, but we also received uh, $5,000, a matching grant, from the First Nation Composer Initiative. And uh, I requested not to charge so that people of all walks of life could attend the concert. I was blown away to see so many people. I thought, oh, you know, we'll be lucky to have 300 people, if that. And that, that theater was packed. It was magical. It was magical. And it ended up becoming grander than I ever dreamed. <laughs> it was quite wonderful. I'm very grateful for, for everyone that helped make that possible. Um, it's exciting to see myself develop and grow. I have so many multi-interests in, in the arts, so I think that the day that I can just be an artist to me is a day that I feel that I've succeeded.